I'm Joe Torre, and this is Baseball Talk. Today we'll talk baseball with Lou Whitaker. In the fall of 1978, Sweet Lou capped an excellent first season in the bigs by being named the Rookie of the Year. And it was an honor, really, to uh, play all year long and have a fine year, considering that all the, uh, the coaches, the managers, the people in the uh, position to select me as a uh, Rookie of the Year, and it was an honor, but I really didn't even know what I was doing. I was just enjoying playing baseball, and that was my main, uh, my main goal, was to play and enjoy myself. And if Lou enjoyed himself in 78, he and his Tiger teammates had a ball when they won the title in 84. It was a, a year that everything we did just turned out great. You know, I, I don't think we could do much wrong. We, it was the times we looked pretty bad, but everything we did, it turned out real well. Uh, we came up with many, many big hits in the uh, ninth inning. And anyone that came off the bench for us came in through the clutch. So it was just one of those years. In July of 1985, Lou gathered his family for the trip to the All-Star Game in Minneapolis. I just knew that day I was going to forget something. It was something I was going to forget. I mean, it was just it was just written all over me. I was going to forget something. And as we left, you know, and I didn't even think about it until we got in the airport in Minnesota. And I told my wife, I said, you know what? I left my uniform. But we got all our suitcases and all our clothes, the kids, all the kids' things. So we did have what we really needed, you know, for the family. But... What I needed, you know, to go out there on the baseball field, that's something I didn't have. And, you know, I didn't know if I should go out there and play or if I shouldn't. Lou played in the All-Star game in a borrowed pair of pants and a shirt purchased from a sporting goods store. For Baseball Talk, I'm Joe Torrey.